Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about working with their overrun boost feature using our MoTeC 100 series software. So this overrun boost is gonna allow us to build boost on the line. So if we're at the drag strip and we have a turbocharged engine, we wanna utilize this to build as much boost as we need to launch our vehicle properly. It's gonna be very specific of how we set this up. There's gonna be a couple things that we have to go over for our wiring and configuration. I'm gonna be walking you through all the details so you know exactly what to do and set up on your vehicle so you can use this to launch at the drag strip. So without further wait, let's jump into the video to check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at how to use our overrun boost feature, which is going to be the anti-lag for a turbocharged engine. So if we're going to be drag racing and we want to launch with boost, this is going to be very important. We have to set this up right. We're going to be seeing how this overrun boost is going to be working with our launch RPM table that we covered in the traction control video. So we're going to be learning about how all that's going to work in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is create a page dedicated for setting up our overrun boost. So I'm going to go ahead, right click, new page, go to blank. It's going to ask us to, uh, to, to save the page. I'm going to set this as anti-lag, click save. I'm going to right click up here, add, go into adjust table, bring my table up here, stretch my table out a little bit. Next, I'm going to go right click, go into add, go into chart recorder. I'm going to go into main channel, select, I'm going to go in here and type in manifold pressure. Click OK. And then also click OK here. And then we're going to bring it down into the bottom and stretch this out here. Go ahead and bring this down as well. So next we're going to go up here. We're going to go right click, add. We're going to go in here to dial gauge. And the first one we're going to be adding here is RPM. Just grab RPM here, click OK. And we're going to be just shrinking this just a little bit here. Then we're going to right click, copy, right click, paste. We can actually scoot this over just a little bit. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're gonna go pacing the next one, pacing the next one, pacing the next one. Pretty funny, that actually doesn't fit. So we're gonna to have to go and uh, adjust the size here just a little bit so that we can fit all these windows here as dial gauges. And doing the same thing here. And then right click, copy this one, then go paste this one. Now we have all our windows here. Now, uh, we're going to be going to the second dial gauge, gonna right click, properties, we're going to be typing in ignition, uh, the uh, select here, IGN, and we specifically want, let's type in ORB for orb, ignition orb compensation. It's going to be showing what's going on with the ignition timing coming from our overrun boost. Right click, properties, select, we're going to be typing in throttle, TH, throttle position. We don't know what our throttle position is doing here at any point in time. Uh, right click, properties, select, we'll be typing IGN, and we want to see what our actual ignition timing is doing. I'm just going to grab my ignition timing here from my number one cylinder. Click OK, I have that populated. Now we're going to go right click, properties, select, jump up here, and we're typing in manifold, map pressure, click OK. Then right click here, properties, Select, we're typing in boost aim, click OK, and OK again. And the lastly, we have this open space here. We're going to fill it in. We're going to go right click, add. We're going to go to a numeric list. Go to add. We're going to be typing up top here RPM, click OK, add. We're typing in here manifold pressure, click OK. 